Good evening, Grace Point, and the surrounding area, and Jonesboro, and everyone listening to this. I hope you are having a good Wednesday evening. If you can keep track of your days with all of the craziness that is going on, it is Wednesday. It may not feel like it, but you and I were supposed to meet tonight. We were supposed to gather together, to commune together, to worship together, and I miss you. I want to let you know that I miss my church, I miss my congregation, I miss seeing all my friends, seeing my church family. But I wanted to get on here and share with you a couple thoughts, a couple devotional thoughts to encourage you since we can't come together to encourage each other. But before I do that, I wanted to let Grace Point and our community know tomorrow is looking to be our last day where service will be needed. We're going to have some pizza sponsored by Valley View uh, be brought to Grace Point. We're going to be driving that out in the community to homeowners still picking up their belongings and, and picking up their lives. So if you're able to help out with that, we have supplies still at the building that can be handed out as well. If you are able to help with that, please come and do so. But if you are in need of help and need a meal, need some food, need some drinks, or need some cleaning supplies, need some trash bags, need anything, please come by the church tomorrow. I'll be here around nine o'clock and we'll probably go till five o'clock again. We would be happy to help you in any way that we can to meet your physical needs. And then while you're there, we might just be able to take care of your spiritual needs as well. But I wanted to take the opportunity, I kind of, I'm kind of freehanding the camera here, to take the moment to give you an object lesson with all of the things that I have seen since early Sunday morning, nearly every single day, nearly every hour of every day I've been here. And the one thing that I have seen the most and this is just what I've seen at Grace Point. This is not including what uh, is being done at the Nettleton Church of Christ with the Church of Christ Disaster Relief Center, Center set up there, not including the volunteers, uh, the, the denominations, not including everything that's going on. Just what I've seen today, I have seen that when God's church gets together, when God decides to bless a community, he does so abundantly. When God wants to give, he gives big. He doesn't know how to give little. And in all of the volunteering, in all of the assistance, in all of the helping, in all of the donations, this is just a small fraction of what has been in and out of our building here, uh, pretty much ground zero next to the tornado. I have seen, and hopefully you have seen as well, God's grace is abundant. His blessings are immeasurable. And there's a passage, 2 Corinthians chapter 9, uh, verse 8 is the one I wanted us to look at. But right after verse 7, where Paul to the Corinthian church says, each one of us must be givers. We've got to give as we've made up our mind, not reluctantly, not under compulsion. God loves a cheerful giver. Immediately after he says that, 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8, Paul writes, God is able to make all grace abound to you. So that having all sufficiency in all things and at all times, you may abound in every good work. L later uh, to the church at Ephesus, he writes, God is able to do things that we can't even imagine. And again, the object lesson here, look at all of the things that uh, God has given to us that we then can provide to the community. God gives us grace abundantly so that we can give it to others abundantly as well. When God gives big, uh, when God gives, he gives big. And the second thing I, I saw, the second thought, and the one I want to leave you with, uh, Sunday and Monday, every single day, I've had the thought of, of hard times make good people. And, and the way that the community of Jonesboro has enveloped those in need has surrounded those who have lost their homes or has had damage done to their home it is inspiring it really is incredible and i know that that's the spirit moving within them it's the goodness of god moving within them but i wanted to amend the statement at least the way i thought about it changed hard times don't create good people the better way to think about it i think hard times reveal good people all of the fellow, uh, the, the brotherhood, the churches come together, Center Hill, Hillcrest, uh, Mountain Home, Valley View, countless others, denominations. The church has come together, uh, volunteers, policemen, people have come together. They were good people all along. 
They just needed an opportunity to help, to show some love, to show some support. They've got that goodness within them. And because of the opportunity, they were able to show it. Our job as Christians is to first ourselves show that goodness at all times, show that generosity at all times, and then create opportunities for the community to do the same thing, to make them realize that there is goodness in them. Hard times reveal the goodness in them. When the Spirit convicts you, when God convicts you, He reveals Himself in you. Uh, so I hope these thoughts encourage you. I hope that you've been encouraged by everything that you've seen. Uh, this is a disaster. This is a calamity. And we're facing two crises right now with the virus still spreading and people still needing to consider, be considerate of their health. But I wanted to encourage you. The church is strong. The God we serve is strong. And I have seen God working in so many of you in the, in, in the past three days. And again, you have an opportunity to serve tomorrow or be served tomorrow if you need it. But I wanted to know that I, I have a deep love for the church. The church the world over has a, a close place in my heart. But the, the church in Jonesboro has shown just how loving it can be. And after these times, whenever normalcy comes back, whatever normal means anymore, I don't, I don't think we need to stop this love. I don't think we need to stop this support. So I wanted to thank you for your service so far, encourage you to continue in it, and, I, and to get on here just to say you, uh, I, I miss you and I love you. I hope you have a good Wednesday. I hope you have a good rest of your week. And whatever you, wherever you are, I hope that God has blessed you.